Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol NAK. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. I'm not sure what I mean by 30 minute. I do offer an explanation video at that link. Did this analysis previously, so that is where the green lines are coming from. And although today, a disappointing day, think about that word today, as in one single day. So when you look at just one single day, sure, the price got up as high as there and then did pull back from that point. But I'm trying to really emphasize today, as in a single day, because, well, it is only just one day. When you look at multiple days, when you look at the past several days, then sure, the price pulled back, but the price is actually still making plenty of progress, and it's now well up above 75 cents, which is a very important level, as I discussed, and I'll just go over it very briefly, since I did talk about it in the video from Wednesday, but if the price were to go down to 75 and then break down through it, at that point in time, what you, what you would have is the price back inside of the sideways channel pattern, and not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back and fall back inside of pan, uh, previous patterns, not exactly a sign of bullish and not exactly a sign of strength. But like I said, sure the price pulled back, but now it's got that much more wiggle room up above 75 cents and not even close to it. So from that point of view, uh, a bigger picture point of view, the chart's still perfectly healthy. Again, sure, today in and of itself, not a not a very exciting day. Not exactly, you know, basically you had a little miniature of a miniature gap and trap here. But that's just again one day and looking at, you know, the past several days, price still has a chance to, you know, even if it does come down here and then bounces up like that, at that point you'd still have a beautiful set of lows right there. You'd have lows right there. You envision those as stair steps, and you still have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. As far as areas of resistance are concerned, nothing fancy or complicated here. That party on the gap up. And the gap and trap this morning stopped basically immediately right up there at $1.10. So $1.10 will be public enemy number one. And then you also want to keep an eye on the 200 period moving average uh, going forward also. But let's first see if the price can get up above $1.10. So still one day left on the week. So let's see how things close out the week on Friday. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick before you go, I want to invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.